All right, Kane, I'll start with you, mate. I'm going to ask the question that everyone in the room is thinking about your hair. How long have you had it for, and do you think it looks good? Uh, I'll answer the uh, second question first. Yes, I do think it looks good. Um, <laughs> but I don't think anyone else does. And I've had it for a, a little while, probably about four or five years now. Um, I shaved my head, and uh, I look terrible, so I've just, just had it long ever since then. But, um, yeah, I'll answer your question. I'll give you a question now, mate. Um, being back home... Uh, are you saving a bit of money living with your parents? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> no, it's very nice. Um, just uh, living back with the parents for a while, so it's uh, you know I guess helped the transition a little bit. But uh, you know things are starting to wear a little thin there at the moment, so uh, might have to look for something else. I think. <laughs> but just with yourself, um, you're uh, obviously come over from Western Australia, and you're the reigning Sandover medalist. Uh, how have you found the transition to to the AFL uh, training regime? Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a hard one. Um, I mean, with the WAF, we only train kind of two or three times a week, maybe, um, with one main session. Um, the the two-a-day practices have been uh, been probably the hardest thing about it, but um, I've loved every minute of it, and um, I've, I've been working really hard on my skills and stuff, which is, which is a really good thing, being in the AFL system. It gives you a lot more time to do that, but uh, like I said, mate, I've loved it, and um, all the boys are absolute legends and have made it far easier to to come over from Perth as well, so I've loved it. And your living arrangements in Adelaide, mate? Yeah, I was, uh, I was living with uh, one of the Eberts for a while there, and then uh, he managed to talk me into getting a rental in Henley. Um, <laughs> so I'm double two to represent. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've, I've got my girlfriend, she's moved over. I've been with her for, for a long time now, so I couldn't leave her back home. She, uh, she's, she's, she's a good one, so she's a keeper, so I've, I've got her moving over and... Uh, yeah, so we're just living in uh, an apartment in Henley, so it's, it's a good spot and I love the beach down there, it's good. Very good, and um, you know, you haven't been in Adelaide long, but uh, you're a part of a, a, a club, I guess it is, called the Medium Res, which is, uh, I guess you go and critique uh, various pubs around Adelaide. Uh, how did you find yourself in that and are you enjoying being in it? Uh, yeah, the boys uh, approached me, uh, well, they didn't approach me, we were just talking in the change rooms one day and... Uh, just decided to kind of make a group. Um, it, it's got a, a fair bit of legs now. I've got, um, got Koshy almost uh, coming to one of the dinners, but we just go out uh, on a Wednesday night to uh, a, a different a different pub that one of the boys chooses each week and we bring a special guest. And um, yeah, it, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I think we're, we're, we're getting a bit too big for our shoes a little bit, but once we get Koshy, then, then we'll be sweet. But, <laughs> but, mate, and, uh, mate, you've, uh, you've gone to an exclusive invite to a, a nice club as well, uh, the Monday Night Dinners. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I actually invited myself, uh, as, <laughs> as Bokey said, you know, uh, got pretty close with the two Ebert, so the family dinner on Monday nights, I got an invite around there, so uh, being a, a wannabe cousin, I got the invite, just like yourself, so... Uh, Really enjoying the cooking over there and the and the company. It's been great fun. Yeah, no, it's been phenomenal. The Ebert's have been uh, been a great help to us, and so has Lewis Stevenson. But everyone else has been great. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Um, cheers, Gussie. That was awesome, mate. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>